estaba grabando. Ok. So, um, voy a tomarme un par de minutitos then at the end of the class para explicarles eh, un par de, de cosas de forma, ok, de cómo trabajamos eh, las clases con respecto a la plataforma, la forma de evaluación, and uh, like generalities que podamos tener, ok. So, eh, Veo que la mayoría tiene la camarita encendida, así que muchísimas gracias por eso. Eh, de hecho, sí les voy a pedir you know, su enorme ayuda con la cámara. Yo sé que a veces cuesta un poquito mantenerla cuando tenemos niños alrededor o more people, pero la cámara nos da este, este punto de acercamiento. You know? so, veo, por ejemplo, que normalmente oh, ya está cerrando los ojos o puedo decir, ay, se está durmiendo, está cansado. You know? so, me da como la idea de what's going on. En cambio, si vemos como una cámara cerrada, it's like, eh, well, mi idea es, ah, oh, probablemente se ha levantado, no está ahí, you know. And for different activities, it is eh, very nice to see you, ok. Y también puedo tener la idea de, de oh, eh, por ejemplo, Guadalupe wow, tiene, tiene el rostro de, oh, that's a question mark, ok. <laughs> so probablemente tiene dudas, probably the topic was not clear. So, eh, si les le vamos a pedir eh, al momento de la asistencia que nos ayuden con la camarita, all right, en interacciones de grupo también, y no tenerla lo más tiempo que se pueda. Si tienen alguna dif dificultad con internet, eh, let me know, ok, porque probablemente tengamos que apagar la cámara para que nos dé mayor estabilidad, all right, especialmente que ya comenzaron las lluvias, you know, no sé si ya llovió en sus casas. Here, hace un par de minutitos estaba lloviendo, like, oh, so. super, super no. strong, like, yes, y nuestro internet siempre tiende a sufrir, you know, when something like that happens. Así que, eh, solo, you know, nos lo pueden escribir, you let us know, y para también tomarlo en cuenta si en algún momento vemos la cámara out, right? Um, so, let me go ahead and present my screen. Eh, vamos a ver un par de cositas today. De hecho, vamos a, a iniciar con parte de los temas, because Mojo Street is super, super good, pero tenemos también bastante trabajo, you know. Eh, cada módulo tiene su dificultad. This is like a very nice module, eh, pero vamos a trabajar un poquito más, because vamos a trabajar mucho con verbos, eh, simple past, ok. And getting familiar, tal vez con, con otros temas that we don't really know. So, eh, inglés corporativo, le da la más atenda, bienvenida, you know. Eh, con el grupo anterior teníamos ya un par de días de no verlo, so I'm super excited to be back. Y con las personas que se nos incorporan, I'm super excited as well que sean parte de nuestro grupo. And um, so, let me just go ahead. Um, today, vamos a trabajar con este objetivo that says students will be able to use infinitives to talk about their company's vision and mission statement. En un par de minutos vamos a ver qué es vision, what is a mission, all right, and uh, y qué son estos de infinitives, what are infinitives, cómo se usan, okay, y cómo hacer nuestra propia, right, that is very important. So, antes de iniciar con este tema, voy a pasar a asistencia. So, help me out with your cameras, please. Y me dan un present cuando lea su nombre. Give me one second here. Oh, allow me one second. Les voy a apagar el micrófono un momentito as well. I'm going to turn off your mic. Okay, so just give me one second. Hold on, hold on. Okay, there we go. So, uh, let me read your names, all right? Y solo me ayudan con un present, guys. Today is Tuesday the 13th. Okay, so Ana Delmi Carranzo. Present teacher. Thank you, Delmi. Brenda Alfaro. I think she's not here. Brian. 
Brian, Brian, creo que vi a Brian por ahí. Wilson, Wilson. Thank Wilson. you, Brian. Hey there. Uh, Celia, Jasmine. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. What do you prefer, Celia or Jasmine? Jasmine. Jasmine, all right, thank you. Uh, Danny Anthony. Present teacher. Thank you, Danny. Uh, Danny Sadalberto. Yeah, teacher, present. Thank you. Daisy? Present. Thank you, Giovanni. Present, teacher. Hi, Giovanni. Natalie? Present. Thank you, Miss. Ingrid? Present, teacher. Good Thank night. you very much. Hello, hello. Jackie? Jacqueline Melissa? Present, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, let me see, Jose Norberto. Present teacher. Thank you, Miriam Claribel. Hello, Miss. I am here. Thank you very much, Moises. Thank you very much. I don't see Moises. Rene Osvaldo. I don't see him. Eh, Pedrina Iliana. Pedrina Iliana. Okay, and uh, Ricardo Alexis. Hello, teacher present. Hi, Ricardo. What do you prefer, Ricardo or Alexis? Eh, cualquiera de los dos no hay problema. Ok, thank you. Eh, Sandra Vigay. Creo que soy el único Ricardo que estoy aquí. Eh, creería que sí. So, I think we're good. Alexis yeah. también. So, I think we're good. Eh, ok. Sandra Rodas. Gracias, Sandra, por la confirmación. Thank you very much and thank you for the camera. Eh, Sandra Elizabeth. Oh, Sandra is not here today. Um, Present I'm, teacher. Hey Sandra, I'm super happy to see you. Espero todo le haya salido bien. Gracias por conectarse. Sí. Thanks a lot. Um, Gracias. My next person is Ana Yancy. Present teacher. Gracias, Miss. Eh, solo hágame un enorme favor. Creo que los compañeros le, les habían comentado que les escribiera en la palabra oyente al final de su nombre. Solo creo que no se la logro ver. Solo me ayuda con eso, por favor. Pero ya, supuestamente ya le puse ahí entre paréntesis, pero no sé por qué no se ve. Ah, bien, ahorita reviso, no worries. Eh, Yo también. Quintanilla. Eh, no, 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 solamente el, algunos eh, compañeros. Eh, Somos salieron... los de repechaje. No, <risa> no, 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 eso Ángel es está por acá. Presente, Gracias, thank you, Ángel. Carlos Alberto. Por ahí. Hello, good Carlos, I think. Present. Hi there, good evening. Guadalupe del Carmen. Present teacher. Thank you very much. José Ignacio. No lo veo. En Marvin Alexander. Present. Hey, Marvin. Hi there. Good evening. Nice to see you there. Ah, eh, Marvin. Marvin, solo creo que igual. Me, me parece que le habían indicado que escribiera la palabra oyente, right? Al finalizar su nombre. Ahí, ahí se escrita. Eh, solo. Quizás a mí no me parece. Deme un segundito. Let me make this bigger. Ah, no, ya sé si sí, me parece oyente. Let me see. Guadalupe también me aparece. Marvin también. Gracias, Marvin. Ahora sí lo vi. Richard, Ahí. perdón. Es que oh. tuvimos que quitarle los apellidos para ponerle, porque si no se, no se ve, pero no sé si va a tener problemas. No, no, ya me parece, Miss. No se preocupe. Ya me parece. Ah, ok. De hecho, creo que está conectada en dos. Eh, en, dos, todo, todo lo que en la computadora <risa> o en el teléfono, I think, <risa> y ya me aparece dos veces, but that's okay, that's totally fine. So, Ángel, eh, Carlos, me ayudan, please, eh, poniéndole también like, oyente, al, final, al, al finalizar para que ya nos quede el registro, you know. 
that you are oh, okay. here. Thank you very much. Okay, everybody. So, um, y, uh, that was pretty much lo que vamos a hacer like every single day. Vamos a revisar un poquito like our attendance. Quizás se nos haga un poquito larga. Okay, but that is day number one. Eh, vamos a ingresar siempre con los dos nombres, dos apellidos. Si tienen más, así como les aparece en el DUI, that's the way como siempre vamos a ingresar for classes. And please put the camera on, okay, para que nos quede like la constancia that you are there, that you are participating and everything. So uh, let's get started, okay. Our activity number one is actually introduce yourself. Ok, and uh, tenemos un par de cosas que vamos a comentar de nosotros. Number one says, tell your classmates something you like, something you don't like, your favorite place, and of course, si lo pueden describir, describe your favorite place. Uh, we have your hobby, si tienen algún hobby, ok, so talk about it. Then we have in any other piece of information you consider relevant, ok. So, vamos a iniciar with this activity that is like talk about you, talk about yourself. ¿Quiénes son ustedes? What do you do? Si quieren compartir more information like where you live, okay, etc. Feel free to do so. Vamos a hacer um, to begin today a full speaking activity para que se conozcan un poquito so you can integrate in the group, okay? So, allow me just some seconds and I'm going to send you okay to some small groups lo que hacemos son grupos mucho más pequeños all right ya no me escuchan solamente van a estar con los compañeros solo pueden tomar captura o solamente se recuerdan de qué es lo que vamos a hacer que pretty much es hablar de ustedes okay eh, you will have five minutes van a tener cinco minutitos and when the time finishes automáticamente les va a aparecer un mensaje que dice tienen un minuto o time is over y los va a traer nuevamente a esta sesión, ¿ok? So, no se preocupen si ya no me escuchan, all right, yo voy a estar por ahí, voy a estar escuchándolos también porque quiero escuchar like how everybody um, is doing, ¿ok? Um, and any piece of information I can get. So, Allow me one second. And los voy a enviar a estos grupitos. Brian está conectado dos veces, right? Sí, es que la cámara y el micrófono de mi computadora no, no, no funciona. Oh, okay. No, that, that's totally fine. Eh, le, le consulto porque para, para los grupos, you know. But ah, that's okay. Sí, But thank you, thank you. Uh -huh. Ok, ok, everybody, so les va a aparecer una invitación que dice unirse, so you can click on that one, si por alguna razón se les pierde, ok, en la computadora les va a aparecer siempre como un icono en la parte superior que dice grupos reducidos, si están en el teléfono, de igual forma en la parte superior les aparece como un cuadrito, dice grupo reducido, so siempre le pueden dar clic, ok, y los va a llevar hasta allá, so nos vemos en cinco minutos, clic, Please, click on it. Denle click en la invitación que les aparece and I'll see you in some seconds. Guys, eh, me indican si necesitan ayuda, please. Eh, let me know. Um, Sandra, it, it's totally fine. Puede entrar como oyente. You can eh, join the group. Y solamente escucha. That's totally fine. Norbert, eh, me indica si necesita ayuda. Ricardo, as well. Eh, yes, teacher. Eh, no me aparece acá para poder ingresar. Está en la computadora, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Ok. Eh, en la computadora donde dice... Ok, dame un segundito. Que me ya está con... Hi, René. Good evening. 
gracias por unirse. So, yeah, I saw you in the car, don't worry. <laughs> I think you're driving. Ok, uh, so, Norberto, eh, en la parte de abajo, en la parte de su menú de abajo, en la computadora, le aparece algo que diga grupo reducido. Grupo reducido. Uh -huh. Hay uno que dice participante. Mm, okay. Unirse uh -huh. a la sesión para grupos pequeños. Sí, ¿no? esa es, exactly. Eso. Ok. Ah, ok. Ok. All right. So, Pedrina y Ricardo, same thing, si están en la computadora, Ricardo creería que está en la computadora, right? Pedrina y Sandra, me comentan si necesitan ayuda, please. My favorite color is blue, and the word I am word in Cerrajería La 49. And my I am my hobby is eh, football. Eh, más, que más, que más. Creo que se me olvide. Solamente. Your favorite place? Um, Repeat. What is your favorite place? Plates. Uh, um, Jing, uh, beach. Thank you. Okay. My favorite place también es. It is to the beach. And you, Carlos. <laughs> no puede hablar, Carlos. Creo tampoco. <laughs> Tiene malo el internet, quizás. Estoy de oyente, yo no sé si tengo que participar. Se sí. platique. Hey, guys. Eh, yes, actually, yes. Hi. Creo que, Hi. Eh, no sé si les comentaron. Ya, yeah, es oyente, but eh, uno de los requisitos es como ser participador o participante activo, let's call it that way. Así que, yes, of course, eh, pueden participar en todas las actividades, all the exercises, y también es la oportunidad para ustedes de, you know, eh, practicar tanto como puedan, mejorar las habilidades que ya tienen, you know, y llegar al siguiente módulo muchísimo más listos for this. Así que, of course, siéntanse con toda la libertad de participar, you know, like to interact, and yeah, of course. Ok. Okay. And in, in this case, uh, my, vamos a ver, you don't like, uh, oh, I like, oh, I like watch uh, soccer match, uh, play soccer, and work, I like uh, study, my husband is play soccer, I work in ABX and I have a gear. Uh, she has eight years old. And I don't know, only that. Thank you. Uh, Marvin, se salvó, tiene que hablar. Vaya. Se te calambra los, los pantorrillas y ya no puede caminar. Y también todos los músculos y te queda así. Pero es más que todo músculo. My hobby, my favorite hobby is listening to music. 
I am insurance agent. Uh, I am 30, 38 years old. In my favorite place is uh, El Mahawal Beach. <laughs> El Tunco Beach. Yes. Así es. The beach. Yes. And my hobby is listen to music. And my favorite food is uh, lasagna. Potato, pota no sé si así se dice, potato fries. Me corrigen si no se dice. Así. Papas fritas. Yes. Mm -hmm. like, like from the hamburger, like french fries. French yes, fries. I like it. Oh, French fries. <laughs> like the twister. Yes. Twister, yeah. Okay. They are so delicious. Only that. Only that. All right. Okay. Uh, my name is Danis. Danis. I had 32 years Years, years old. I not not like um re reggaeton. My favorite place is a beach. Uh, I don't know like the insect in insect insect insect. Yes, insect. 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 No. <laughs> it's very ugly. I am allergic to <laughs> literal. Oh, are you allergic to all type of insects? Yes, teacher. Like mosquitoes, flies, everything. Yeah, everything. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. So you don't like insects, all right. The teacher, teacher Julia, Hi. He, don't, he doesn't like cats. Oh no, I, I really hate cats. You know, it's not that I don't like cats, it's that I hate cats. <laughs> um, I can stand any kind of pet. I'm okay with dogs, I'm okay with parrots, uh, but, but cats, it's like, no, 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 that's a no. <laughs> I really hate cats. So I'm sorry, guys, if you were a cat lover, Si les gustan mucho los gatos, I apologize, <laughs> but I'm not a cat lover at all. <laughs> so that's for real. What about the next one, guys? What is your favorite place? My favorite place is the beach. So which one? ¿Cuál de todas? Which one? This dish. Uh, atami. Atami. Oh, Atami. Okay, that, that's La Libertad. All right. So, Atami. That, that's yes. a beautiful beach. That's a beautiful place. Okay. Beautiful. What about you, Brian? Yeah. And what about you, Jasmine? So, what, what are your favorite places? I love mountains. So maybe my favorite place is Casa de Cristal or a volcano or a mountain. So I like mountains. What about you? I like volcano. So what is your favorite? Uh, no, my favorite place uh, is the beach. Uh, I like El Tunco Beach. Um, oh, I like okay. El Mahawal Beach. Okay. Uh, they they are place beautiful. They are beautiful place. Okay. Mahawal beach. I don't like Mahawal, 
because <laughs> it's too crowded. Thank Está como muy yeah. lleno. It's like a lot of people together. So in Mahawal, yeah. it's like, oh no, I, I don't like. I like no. Hotel Pacific. Oh, Hotel okay. Pacific, so, uh, this is in Mahawal. Okay. It's, it's a beautiful place. Here for okay. these delicious. Interesting, that sounds good. Jasmine, what about you? What's your favorite place? My favorite place is the beach, El Cuco Beach El Cuco. and the mountain. Okay, El Cuco is in San Miguel, right? Okay. Right. And the mountains. Do you have a favorite like mountain? El Pital. Oh, okay. Wow, but El Pital is a different level. <laughs> Do you like camping? Do you like to go camping? So I'll come back? Or just you go and you return the same day? Toy in, in the day. Okay, so you return. It's only uh, like a day trip. But you know, I recommend you to go and stay. So go camping. Debería de ir a acampar alguna vez. It's super nice to go camping there. So I definitely recommend you to go camping. All right. Guys, I'll give you a couple of more minutes para que logren terminar con las demás. Los veo en un par de minutitos. I'll see you in so minutes. So go ahead, please. All right, teacher. Um, I, I like make work. Um, I like make work. Oh. Mm -hmm. Teacher, I have a question. <laughs> um, Is it for me? Because <laughs> uh, uh, I heard. No, no. So I'm like, yeah. Is it me? I think he, he was. He was uh, Yo creo que me preguntó joking. a mí, no, no, no sé a quién, no sé a quién le preguntó. No, como teacher, other teacher in the class. Teacher, teacher one. Oh, yeah, no, but you are a professor, aren't you? Natalie, you are a professor. Professor, no es lo mismo. Ah. Mm, do you work at, what, you work at a university, right? Yes. That's a professor. Professor. I mean, professor. yeah, you are a teacher, but you are a professor. Uh -huh. No, professor, a professor. professor. Yeah. She's a professor. Ah, professor. Oh. Mm -hmm. ah. So, in Spanish, we call it kind of catedrático. So, you are a professor. Uh -huh. Yeah, depending uh -huh. on the level. Okay. I mean, I'm a teacher, okay? You are a teacher. Pero en el ambiente donde trabaja, so they can call you professor. So you're a professor. Oh. Si yo trabajo en, 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 en universidad también, they will call me professor. Uh -huh. So es como el título cambia. Uh -huh. Pero es un uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. uh, okay. Professor. Okay. Professor. okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So, guys, ¿cómo les está yendo? How are you doing here? Mm. Aquí tratando. Aquí. Sí, sí. No, o sea que yes. siguiendo, practicando, practicando y practicando. Ya después no nos va a parar de tanto que hablemos. That is the idea, you know. That, that's definitely the idea. Que ganen más confianza, more vocabulary, and you feel ready for that. Uh, did you finish? Did you finish? Like everybody introduced themselves. Todos se presentaron. Did you uh, introduce yourself, guys? Mm, yes. 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 Is anybody missing? No. 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 Rene as well. So Rene introduced himself. Die. <laughs> okay, kind of. That's okay. All right, guys. So, because of the time, let's go back and I will see you in the meeting in a second. So, I'll see you back. Okay. Hi, Perina. I'm glad to see you. I can see you. Hi. Now. 
Hi, good evening. Sí, me costó. <laughs> Pero gracias por eso, ser la cabarita. I'm, I'm like very glad to see you there. ¿Qué más me hacía falta que no había visto? Hello, Pedrina. Hello. Hello. Está ¿Qué, tal? Año, ¿Qué tal? ¿Qué tal? No, no estoy cumpliendo año. La cosa es que ahí está. Estamos oh, viendo okay. que están en los 15 años. Uh, but it's not her birthday. She said, okay, the 15 year old. Let me see, let me see. ¿Qué más no he visto? Oh, Angel. So I haven't seen Angel. Carlos, I think I recognize your face already. Eh, Ricardo as well. Okay. Creo que solo me falta one person. I'm missing just one. Okay, everybody. So, um, Fisher is the soup. No, uh, Jesus was Jesus. not in the in the list, so probablemente no presentó la empresa like the, the documents, right? Because that's the thing. Uh -huh. Yeah, most likely oh. that is what happened. <laughs> okay, guys. So I was I was listening to some of you like with the introduction. That was very interesting. Sé que tenemos, eh, o sé que les pidieron que escribieran esta palabra oyente at the end. I understand eh, que, you know, les dieron las generalities. Pero, guys, please, siéntanse en toda la libertad de participar, you know, to give your opinion. This is like, uh, like, ese va a ser su grupo, you know. This is going to be your group. Please, sientan parte, eh, siéntanse parte de él, all right. And if you have questions, if you have like comments or anything, también, I mean, you have all the privileges to be in the group, so que la palabra oyente no los, no los eh, intimide, you know. <laughs> I know that eh, most of you tendrían que estar en nivel 4, if I'm not mistaken. Me corrigen, chicos, so you can correct me. Creo que 3. Uh, Pedrina sería para el 4, right? Okay, yeah. No, what happens is that esos chicos, you know, tienen ahorita la oportunidad como de, de practicar. And uh, y this is like super important eh, que cuidemos a, al, al grupo, you know, que el grupo se mantenga super fuerte para que no tengan que esperar eh, como un mes, dos meses para que el grupo se les vuelva a abrir. So this is the reason. Pero ustedes son super bienvenidos, you know. Así que tómenla como la oportunidad de, de, de practicar más, you know, to take advantage of it, grab the opportunity, agarre más vocabulario, you know, more fluency, more confidence. So at the end, de eso se trata. That is the idea, all right? And uh, so we were in the part of introducing ourselves. And I would like to know, al momento que, que escucharon a los compañeros, did you find any interesting information about your classmates? Algo que you didn't know, o algo que fue como, really? Did you, did you listen to any piece of information que les llamó la atención? Or not really, ya lo sabían. Did you know everything about your classmates? Creo que Marvin está como, me, I want to say it. Marvin, go ahead, please. What did you listen to? I like my play in the class. Is dynamic. Um, arle, uh, aprendo mucho, no sé cómo se dice. Oh, I learn a lot. I learn a lot. Okay. I learn a lot. I learn a lot. Thank you. Thank you, Marvin. Okay. Uh, so, guys, for example, I listened that one person doesn't like insects. I mean, uh, for me, that was okay. So, that's maybe not like very common. All right. So, that's interesting. Uh, what about the rest of you guys? ¿Qué escucharon? What did you listen to? ¿Algo que les llamó la atención? Did you listen to anything? Um, Ana Yancy, she lies in the beach tunco. Okay, so Ana Yancy likes el tunco. I heard, de, de hecho, now that you yeah. mentioned that, creo que varios. I think I have a couple of people who likes the beach. So I heard well. el Mahawal, I heard el tunco. I see Guadalupe saying yes, so I believe also she likes El Tunco. I think, oh. let me see. Uh, well, I guess we like dishes. Carlos, vi por ahí la mano arriba. I saw your hand up. Yes, I listened that uh, my comments uh, likes uh, go to the beach. 
Okay, yes, right? So they like going to the beach. I think everybody likes to go to the beach, especially now with the surf city and everything. So that sounds like a very nice place to go. Yeah. Okay, okay, cool, cool, you know. A medida que vayamos getting into the module, vamos a descubrir más información, I believe. So that is pretty much your uh, introducing yourself. All right. I have like a lot of expectations about the group. Uh, yo sé que son muy capaces, you know, like you're super, super good. Son bien comprometidos con su proceso de aprendizaje. Entonces estoy segura que this module is going to be very productive porque tenemos mucho vocabulary, mucha práctica, so I am pretty sure that we will make it, guys. Now, um, what else, what else? So creo que todos vienen like very motivated. <laughs> I guess everybody is still motivated in the module number three, you know? Probablemente hace poquito dijeron, voy a, a ver qué pasa, you know, I'm going to get it started, but I'm really happy that you're here, right? y que um, you decided to continue with this module. Así que espero verlos up to, hasta que lleguen al último, right? Um, yes. Until you get with the TOEFL evaluation and everything. So, vamos a dar inicio con parte de, del contenido del module, all right? And to get started with this, I have just some vocabulary review, okay? So, revisamos the meaning of some of these words quizás algunas sean nuevas, maybe some are new, maybe some are not new, all right? But construyamos el vocabulario juntos. Let's work with the vocabulary together. The first word that we have is improve, okay? The second is successful. Next one is succeed. Then we have inspire and we have performance. Everybody, please repeat with me. Improve. 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 Thank you. Successful. 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 Good. Next one. Succeed. 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 Next Succeed. One. Inspire. 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 And the last is performance. Performance. Very good. So I need your help. Improve. Can you give me, yes, yes? What is improve? Can you give me an example using improve? Mejorar. Okay, exactly. Give me one example, please. Lo primero que se les venga, you know, to your head, utilizando improve. Improved in my class. I have to improve in my class. Okay, okay, that works. Any other example? Anybody else? I need to improve my character. I need to improve my my character. Mm, oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's say that is fine. Okay. okay. I mean, I yeah. Need, uh -huh. I need to improve um, the speaking English. Oh, I need to improve, yeah. okay, my English. I need to improve my, my speaking ability. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I, I I improved in, in my job today. Okay, I improved. All right, that sounds fine. So improve is okay. como ir pasito a paso, right? Pero una mm -hmm. mejora continua. So that's improving, all right? What about successful? Can you give me an example using successful? What is successful? What is the meaning of successful? Exitoso. Exitoso, thank Exitoso. you, exactly. So successful is like, como la palabra lo dice, exitoso. Can you give me like any idea, any example using successful? I am successful. I am successful. Okay, yeah. very good. Yeah, that's okay. Any other example? My grandfather uh, is successful. My grandfather is successful. Yes, that's okay. 
we can be successful. Okay, so I, successful. Yeah, <laughs> tell me, tell me. I, uh, I finished mo module. Okay. Successful. Oh, yeah. okay. I finished the module successfully. Exitosamente. Yes. Okay, that works. Thank you very much. Now, what about the word succeed? Successful is exitoso, but succeed is tener éxito. Okay. Este es como el verbo, como la acción. Okay. So, ¿cómo mm -hmm. puedo utilizar succeed? Let me give you one example. Okay. I succeed when I work really hard. Okay, um, so I succeed, you succeed. No. Now, can you give me an example using succeed? So, tiene, tener éxito, that's the word, succeed. Successful is exitoso, okay, but succeed is tener éxito. So, I succeed when I work when I hard work. Okay, I succeed when I work hard, exactly, exactly. Uh. I succeed cuando comienzo algo nuevo, when I start something new, right? It's a new pro project, yeah. When I have a new project, exactly. Yeah. Anything else? Mm -hmm. Succeed. So everybody, please do me a favor. In the chat, escríbeme una oración utilizando la palabra succeed. Succeed. ¿Cómo lo voy a utilizar? I succeed. So I succeed. Podemos usar ah, el siguiente. I'm going to write it down. I, I succeed. I succeed after finish model Excel advanced. Uh, I succeed. It's correct. Tendré uh -huh. éxito después que finalice el módulo de Excel. Oh, okay. So, yes, of course, podemos utilizar también la palabra I will succeed. Yo tendré éxito. I will okay. succeed. Mm -hmm. so, so, I finish, teacher. Module does. Okay, so I will succeed when I finish oh. Excel to program or Excel to course. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Nice, that sounds good. So, I succeed or I will succeed. Yo tendré éxito. Okay. Very good, Dani. So guys, okay. ayúdenme con un ejemplo in the chat. Then, yeah. I will succeed in the cycling. I will succeed in the? Cycling. Like uh, in, the, in the bicycle. In the oh, I will succeed cycling. Oh, okay. So I will succeed. I will <laughs> succeed cycling. All right. I will succeed cycling. Mm -hmm. That works. Oh. Okay. I see Natalie says my new product will be. Uh, okay. Podríamos decirle Natalie como my new product will succeed. Mi nuevo producto va a tener éxito. O mi nuevo producto será exitoso. So my new product will succeed. Sin el verbo be. Okay. O la otra podría ser my new product will be. Y la palabra anterior successful. So both. Hay dos posibilidades. Mm -hmm. To say the same. I will, I, will, I will succeed. I will succeed in my video game. I, okay. <laughs> yeah, I will succeed in the championship, uh, in the video game championship. Okay. You will succeed in your goals. Okay. I will succeed when I will. I will succeed. Ah, I'm sorry. I will oh. succeed tomorrow morning in my office oh very good i will succeed tomorrow morning that sounds good okay exactly i will be okay so sin el, sin el be aquí. i will succeed in my professional career i like it very good so look at the lady and the rest is good okay i have to succeed with english of course not Roberto. you can do it I wish you a lot of success. Oh, very good. So Sandra está utilizando another word that is success. Excellent. Uh, Mr. I'm so sorry, pero veo que su teléfono dice I Franco, pero no veo su nombre. I don't see your name. So, me ayuda, please. Can you help me? Yes, uh, sorry. Your name, I'm sorry. My name, <laughs> my name is Ignacio Franco. Oh, okay. And, uh, so allow me one second. Okay. 
Sí, pero gracias. Ok, so, solo me ayuda con el nombre completo, please. Se lo agradecería, like, a lot, a lot. Déjenme ver, creo que hay alguien más. I didn't see before. Hi, Moisés, good evening. Gracias por acompañarnos as well. So, I see Moisés Eduardo. Okay, Moisés Eduardo is the time. Hi, good evening. Teacher. Hello. Teacher, eh, le quería comunicar que voy manejando por si no aparece la, 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 la imagen, oye, pero sí voy escuchando. Okay, thank you. Gracias, Ricardo. Thank you so much. Okay. No worries. That's okay. Okay, very good example. So, los escribiendo are super good. I will succeed next week. I will succeed in my job. You will succeed in my... Um, Eh, Pedrina quizás como as secretary y le quitamos in my, lo demás súper bien, ok. The next word that we have is inspired. Any idea what does it mean? What is inspired? Inspirar. Inspirar, exactly. So in the sense that podemos hacer que alguien más look up to you, all right? So that is inspired. And the last word that we have is performance. Any idea what is performance? Performance. Actuación. Okay, actuación. Anything else? Desempeño. Exactly. So, in more like everyday practice, performance is lo que nosotros hacemos everyday, okay? Ustedes tienen performance in your job, que es su desempeño. You can have a good performance, a bad performance. Cuando hablamos de, you know, uh, in your job, you have a performance. Cuando estamos en clases, also, you know, you have a specific performance. So, maybe you are the most talkative or the shyest person. So, it's como la performance como el desempeño, the way yeah. you behave in a specific environment. So, eh, vamos a tener estas palabras, you know, en cuenta, because for the next activity, las vamos a utilizar, all right? So, let's move on a little bit. And I have here the first activity for us. So, vamos a, it says, part of the objective, <coughs> write an effective business mission and vision statement. Uh, to get started, I would like to have some volunteers to read the conversation. It says, listen to your teacher, pero primero quiero escucharlos. I would like to listen to any volunteer. Me, so, teacher. Thank you. Me, teacher. Thank you very much. So, I'm sure. sorry, I got a couple of you. Creo que fue Jocelyn. I think that was Jocelyn, right? Yes, teacher. Thank you, Jocelyn. Yeah, so you can help me with Diana. And I heard, uh, it can must yeah, me. Creo que fue Miriam, right? Yes. Okay, thank yeah. you. So yeah. you can yeah. help yeah. me with Celia, please. Did you hear about the visits of the manager today? I did. We shall be really uh, great. Well, we were talking about the mission and the vision of the company. Let's write them. Okay, our mission is to make our guests feel at home from inspecting to check out. Right. Our missions describe why our, our business exits. And our vision, uh, vision is to become the most um, preferred, preferred. Uh, hotel by 2020. That ring. Our vision tells where our business wants to get in the future. All right. Thank you very much. Very good, girls. So let's take a look. Uh, it says here, our mission. ¿Qué es la misión? What is the mission? La misión de, de una empresa o de okay. un proyecto. 
Miguel, all right. And uh, ¿qué describe? What does it describe? Como lo que quieren alcanzar o lo que quieren. Westfield. Is to make our guest feel oh, at home. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. So here ellos ya nos dan como un ejemplo, right? It uh -huh. says our mission is to make our guests feel at home from check-in to check-out. I got a question for you. Esta misión de qué tipo de compañía sería? This mission corresponds ah, to a hotel, yeah. okay? Hotel. Probably to a hotel, right? Because yeah. dicen guests and they say check in, check out. Que son palabras yes. de hoteles, all right? But in general, ¿qué es una misión? What is a mission? ¿Qué describe? What does it describe? Por acá está la respuesta. You find the answer here. Solo tenemos que leer un poquito. The business exit. Exactly. So why the business exists? Why? Okay. Oh, why are... That is the idea of the mission. Why the business exists. And the vision? What is the vision? ¿Qué describe la vision? The goals one achieve. Yeah. Exactly. Feel. It says a very important yeah. word. The vision is future. Okay. How do you see yes. your company in the future? It says our vision tells where our business uh, want to, wants to get in the future. Mm. So vamos a trabajar como un poquito con vision. Not necessarily con cuestiones gramaticales, but more like hand scene. Okay, so let's take a look. Uh, I got a question for you. Do you recognize these companies? Do you know what they are? Yes. What? Yes, Amazon. Okay, Amazon. Nike. Nike. Okay. Uh, Chevron. Yes, Chevron. Okay. And the, the, the girl in the middle? Carbo. Exactly, Carbo. exactly. So you got Chevron. I eliminated the name, you know. <laughs> so you got Chevron, <laughs> you got a Starbucks, you got Nike, Boom. and you have Amazon. Okay. Yeah. Now, the question is, ¿qué es lo que hacen? Okay. Uh, Chevron, ¿qué es lo que hacen? What does the company do? Uh, what kind of business? No, oil. Oil, okay. Oil. Like petrol, yeah. oil, okay. Do oh, they okay. sell or do they distribute? What do you think? Do they oh. sell, yes. distribute, buy? Sell? Maybe they, they sell yeah. and distribute. distribute. Okay, probably. Yeah. What about yeah. a Starbucks? What about Starbucks? Starbucks. 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 Coffee. 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 Um, Starbucks, to be, to be a restaurant, to be the nicest a coffee, cafeteria. No. to be a cafeteria, all right, okay. What about Nike? What What do you think the idea of Nike is? Is Star Nike? They sell shoes. Star um, shoes. Shirt, they sell um, shoes, okay, they, they sell shoes, shirts. Well, t-shirts, right? Uh -huh. Factory. -shirt. Factory um, shoes. Shirt. Factory shoes. Okay. Is it famous? Uh -huh. Is Nike famous? Yes, yes. it's very famous. Yes. Is very it famous. expensive? Yes. Or so yes. much expensive. Okay. Asocian a Nike con la palabra calidad? Do you, yes. you know, consider Nike is quality? Yes. Quality. Comodidad. Ah, comfort. Yes. So it is comfort. comfort. Yes. Okay. Comfort. Paga, quality, pagarían quality. por un par de Nikes? Would you pay for a pair of Nikes? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. What about Amazon? This is Amazon. Different products. Different products. Alguien ha comprado en Amazon, guys? Has anybody bought anything in Amazon? And Alguien yes. says no. I bought the clock. No. ¿Quién ha comprado algo en, algo en Amazon? Who has bought anything in Amazon? I, 
Okay, Brian. Has... That is online. That is online. Okay, that's an online uh, store. Yes. How was your yes. experience, Brian? Was it good? Um, good. Okay, would you buy Mira, again? Mi Amazon entra de las margaritas. <laughs> no, eh, <laughs> no, I don't remember watch. Is watches or watch? No, a, a watch. watch. A watch. watch. Yes. Yeah. Or, or a clock. The, the no, watch. Okay, a watch. Yeah, that's a watch. Watch. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. but si lo recibió, did you get it? Sí, sí, sí. Oh. Tarde, pero lo recibí. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing, right? When you buy something online, especially because of COVID, the shipping for mas, mas lento. Now the shipping is like super, super slow. Okay, but that three, works. Three years later. Three before. years later. <laughs> three years later. Three years later. Three years later. Ah, oh, pero no fue tanto. Es normal, okay. normal. Yo que sabe no es cierto de eso. I have heard, I have heard customers que nunca reciben el producto, así que you're so lucky. Yes. <laughs> you're super lucky. Por lo menos lucky. lo recibía. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, now, veamos un poquito de la, la parte de las, las misiones, then, okay? It says here, read the mission statement of successful companies. So these companies are considered successful. Match them to the companies on the right and then compare the answers with a partner. So everybody, les voy a dar dos minutitos. I'll give you two minutes para que puedan leer, you know, think about it. And you have to match the company with the mission, okay? So we already know that Chevron is a company about the petrol, gasoline, you know, the Starbucks is more coffee. Amazon is like an online store. And Nike is a shoe company. Well, not only shoe, I would say sport gear. Todo lo relacionado con, con sport, right? No necessarily shoes. So, ¿cuál sería la emisión de cada uno? I'll give you two minutes. Hello. Hello there. Yeah. See, sí, to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Nike. All right. So you said inspiration. I'm sorry. What is the... Oh, you mean letter C, right? To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete. Okay. Give me one second. Give me one second here. Let me take a look. Okay, Giovanni is done as well. Okay. So guys, I'll give you 30 seconds more. Me dan confirmación verbal, please, when everybody's done. Uh, Ignacio. Tells, okay, thank you. So Ignite, Ignacio tells us, eh, chicos, creo que alguien me dejó el micrófono abierto, so you can help me, please. Mention. Thank you, Ingrid. All right. That letter C is yeah. Nike to bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. Do you have the same? Do you have anything different? There is C is for like. Okay, you got the same. All right, that's mm. okay. What about letter A? What do you have in letter A? 
it says uh, to be the most customer centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. What is that? Amazon. It's something like Amazon, Amazon, right? Amazon. Exactly. Amazon. Yeah. So, supposedly, pueden encontrar anything. You can buy anything. So, I would use it, creería que solo para libros. I would like to buy books in Amazon. That's it. Um, what about letter mm -hmm. D? To be the cool. energy company most admired for its people, partnership, and performance. What Cheryl. 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 Okay. Cheryl. Yeah, that sounds like it. And the last one says to inspire and nurture the human spirit. One person, one cup, and one neighborhood Nike. at a time. Nike. Mm. Nike was Starbucks. letter C. Starbucks. Starbucks. Why is Starbucks? Si se fijan, dice one person, one cup. One okay. cup. So it's like, oh, coffee. Oh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so letter D One is cup. Starbucks. Exactly. All right, guys. Very good. So this is kind of the mission these companies have. So veamos parte de los temas that we have for today. Allow me one second. Let me share this again. Okay. So it says here, um, what verbs are used to write the mission and vision statement? So, hay algo que se llama infinitive, no nos vamos a meter mucho en la parte de la like, grammar explanation, porque quiero que lo utilicen, ok, más que entiendan every single thing about grammar here. So, un infinitive son todos los que empiezan con tú, ok, cualquier verbo que comience con tú se le llama infinitive. For example, I have here make, un infinitive es to make, I have become, Cuando escuchen infinitive, solo significa agreguenle tú, okay? ¿ok? So, become, to become. I have be, el infinitive is to be. So, mm. normally here, los, los infinitives are used to express purpose, ¿ok? No solamente en una misión, sino siempre que hablemos de un propósito, ¿ok? Voy a utilizar infinitives. Let me give you some examples. Uh, imagine que hablamos del propósito. ¿Por qué voy a estudiar inglés? Okay. Why am I going to study English? So, why English? So, si pensamos un poquito en why English, why not Korean, why not German, why not uh, French, you know? So, why English? Como hablamos de mi propósito, I can start with you. So, guys, why English? So in my case, I decided to study English to travel and talk to people all over, oops, all over the world. English is the first language around the world. So la razón por la que yo escogí en inglés, okay, it was because, eh, well, it was to travel and talk to people all over the world. Ese fue mi propósito. That is my purpose to study mm. English. Now, first, antes de continuar, I want you to think really quick. What is the purpose? Okay. ¿Por qué inglés? Why English? Why not Japanese? Why not, um, you know, any other language? Why English? So, solamente decimos tú y luego para qué. Okay. To travel, to talk, to... Um, I don't know, to understand. To think, to think, teacher. Uh -huh, to think, to find, job. to get, to speak. Okay, so I want you to think about your, your purpose. So tell me, what is your purpose, guys? ¿Cuál es su propósito? What is your purpose? Yes, Carlos. My purpose yeah. is to uh, learn English is to speak with another people in Europe, in Asia, uh, because I work with many people around the world. Okay, very interesting. Thank you very much. Anybody else? Why English? Uh, my purpose is to find a best job okay to find a better okay. job yeah. okay cool to find a better job anybody else yes. 
Estoy escuchando. Hey, my more. purpose <laughs> is hey, to to understand the time. Can work maybe. Uh, okay, so Brian says to understand. Yes, uh, to understand the time. Okay, to understand. To okay, that works. I'm sorry, Marvin. Can you mention that again, please? Uh, to change work. Oh, uh, to maybe <laughs> embassy you may stay. Oh, to Inside. work at the embassy. Okay, to to get a different job to work at the embassy. Okay, that's all right. Girls, I, I would like to listen to girls. Creo que tengo varias chicas here. So, girls, what's your purpose? Why English? Yo, teacher. Sure, go ahead, Natalie, please. My, my purpose is to talk English, uh, to find a new work, um, to travel around okay. the world. All right, so to travel around the world and to find a different job. All right, thank you. So I guess everybody would like to find a job, right? A different job. So that sounds good. Anybody else? Girls. I got, and I got a lot of girls. So Miriam, Jackie, Sandra, Jocelyn, Pedrina also. Daisy, Celia, well, Jasmine, um, Guadalupe. What is your purpose, girls? Why English? My mission to learn English is um, the improve. Mm -hmm, to improve. And um, uh, how are the new work okay and the possible the possible possible possiblemente maybe and maybe uh, to travel in the future okay to find another job to travel in the future okay that sounds good so siempre que hablamos de propósitos right we can use these we can use infinitive for that excellent job everybody now it says here we use it in something like mission, okay? So any purpose, for example, why does the company exist? To bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. So no lo modificamos, no le agregamos este or any further change. Okay, now infinitives are also express, uh, are used to express directions. Yes, Marvin? ¿Alguna cuestión? Yes. Maybe es como quizás y también es posiblemente. Yes. <laughs> Maybe es para lo que usted no está seguro. So it's oh, like okay. quizás, tal vez, posiblemente. Yeah, all of them work. Maybe it works for that. Yeah. Okay. So we used it um, here to give directions. For example, where is the company going? Our vision is to become. So in general, propósito y dirección lo utilizamos with infinitives, okay? Now, revisamos esto. To bring inspiration. Our mission is to become. Our vision is to become. So vamos a utilizar here, you know, el to cuando tengamos dos verbos juntos. No podemos tener dos verbos. For example, our mission is become. No se puede. Utilizamos el to para poder separarlos. Uh, and we have this exercise. Read the statement below. Correct the four mistakes related to the use of infinitives. Hay seis oraciones. There are six sentences, pero solo cuatro errores. There are four mistakes. I will give you some seconds para que puedan encontrar dónde está el error. Puede que hay algo más, all right? O le haga falta solamente to, o haga falta, you know, to make any other change. So I'll give you three minutes. Me dan confirmación verbal, please, cuando ya hayan terminado. When you are done.
Ignacio, can you be so kind? Y me regala su nombre completo, please. Ignacio está por acá. Me escuchó ahora. Ah, ahora sí, ahora sí. Me regala su nombre completo. Please. José Ignacio Franco Medina. Gracias. Okay. Me incorporé como 30 minutos tarde por, por tráfico. No worries. No hay problema. Le voy a cambiar nombre acá para que quede en el control. Okay. Usted es oyente, ¿verdad? Así es. Ok. Thank you, Jocelyn. And Jocelyn is done. Sorry, teacher. Tell me. What's your name? Oh, my name is Julia. Thank you. No problem. So, uh, please, the everybody, complete, when you finish. The, the yeah, complete name? Me, uh, it's Julia Sarceño, Interiano. So you can give me verbal confirmation, guys. Thank mm -hmm. No worries. <clears throat> By the way, this is in the material. So, um, si no lo logran ver bien acá, because it's super small, o están en el teléfono, pueden descargar el material. Los compañeros de soporte se los brindaron en el grupo de WhatsApp. Los pueden descargar, los pueden imprimir, si se sienten más cómodos, you know. La idea es que siempre tengan um, your material también, bien handy. Así que por ahí lo tienen, I believe. So, si... Lo quieren imprimir, you are free to do so. Pueden definitivamente hacerlo. I'll give you 30 more seconds para que podamos terminar and we can check it together. Okay, everybody, so please help me with the answers, all right? Help me with number, well, number one is an example for you. It says our vision is to become the number one provider of office supplies in San Miguel. Number two, who has number two? Our mission is to provide to help to like tasty. 
Tasty. An mm -hmm. economic mail is to construct work it wherever they wherever. are. All right, thank you. So the same, right? No hay mayores cambios, so it would be the same. So our mission is to provide healthy, tasty, and economic meals. Number three, what about number three? We are the number one we cleaning the number. service provider for financially inclusion. Okay, we aim to be the number one provider. Okay, so le cambiaría en algo? Would you change anything? Cambiaría, we, solo dejaría we are the number one. Okay, we are number one. Okay. Uh, what about the rest? ¿Qué tienen para la tercera? Do you have anything there? Yo lo vi correct. Okay, that's good for you. Dice que son cuatro errores en general, right? Del uno a las seis. Así que uno ya está, solo es tres vamos a encontrar. Um, yeah, I mean, René, you have a point there. We are number one that sounds good solo que como estamos hablando de una misión visión you know oh, es como hacia el futuro ya yeah. so we aim es como tenemos este target you know estamos enfocados en esto so aim se refiere a eso we aim to be number one mm -hmm. so yeah number three is okay what about number four what do you have in number four ese es el que vi correcto Number four. Yes. Okay. Uh, what do you have in number four? Les voy a dar un tip. I'm going to give you a tip here. Um, tenemos el to. Okay. Y después del to, no hay ningún cambio. To make, to become, to be, to bring, and to inspire. What about number four? Que uh, number energy four? teacher. Ah, okay. So we exist. To bring, okay, not to bring in. So le quitamos el ing because after two, no lo necesitamos. Exactly. What about number five? Who has this in number five? We ambition, we ambition be leaders. We wish to be. To be, to be, to be leaders. To exactly. Be leaders. Porque son dos verbos. We ambition to be leaders. Okay. In number six, that is the last, but not the least. My company vision is the way ING. ING again. My company's vision is to become seeing el ING because after two, no necesitamos mm. ING. We don't need it. Okay. So that is the most important thing about this. Okay. Cuando hablamos de propósitos, you say like, okay, what I want is to. No puedo utilizar ningún otro cambio después del to. Okay. Now, guys, let's go over the following activity. We are going to practice a little bit more freely. It says here, choose a local company or think of your own. Write an effective mission and vision statement for it. Solo vamos a escoger una, okay? I want you to, no vamos a, a, a trabajar ahorita like uh, being part of your company, crearla desde cero, of course not. Solamente vamos a pensar rapidito en one, la pueden crear, o piensen en la que tiene su empresa. I'm totally sure que ya se la saben, that you know it by heart. Ya se la han memorizado, you know, like what your mission is, what your vision is. And solamente vamos, eh, vamos a compartirla, ok? We are going to share this with everybody in the group. So, what are we doing, guys? Solamente vamos a hablar de nuestra misión y nuestra visión. Si no se la saben, pueden crearla with everybody, with your classmates, ¿ok? Y luego venimos y vamos a presentar una visión por grupo, ¿all right? So, bear with me. Espérenme un momentito. Wait for me just a second. And there we go. Los voy a invitar a una sesión cortita. Ok, compartan cuál es su misión o cuál es la visión, la que tengan a la mano, you know, and then venimos y la, la compartimos en inglés, of course, in English. Si no la tienen, es la oportunidad para que la puedan traducir a little bit. Ok, so everybody go, please.
yo le entendí que como que la visión ya sea de la una de la empresa donde nosotros trabajamos porque como que dijo que ya la, como que ya la podíamos de memoria yo no algo así le entendí sí. Yes, guys. Hi. <risa> Yo asumo, ¿verdad? Que, que ustedes se pueden ya de corazón esa visión y esa misión. <risa> But no necesariamente. Hi. So, si no se la saben, pueden crearla. You can create it basado en lo que acabamos de ver. ¿Ok? So, ¿cómo puede ser la misión? Tomen un ejemplo de los que acabamos de ver you know, y ustedes lo hacen suyo. You make it your own. Eh, por ejemplo, utilizando infinitivo, infinitivo. Yes, exactly. pues, es algo sencillo no vamos a meternos mucho en si está bien, si está mal si se adecua la empresa you know. no necesariamente the idea is to practice this topic a little bit por ejemplo let me share this eh, si revisamos lo que acabamos de ver ok, revisan la de Starbucks o revisan la de Nike ok eh, por ejemplo, Amazon dice eh, to be the most customer centric company in the world where people can find and discover anything they want to buy online. Imagínense que soy inglés creativo. ¿Cuál sería como mi visión? Oh, to be, okay, the best English center where people can achieve their goals. Okay. Entonces es algo como bien sencillito. It's something super, super easy. Que si ustedes no se lo saben, no se saben cuál es la misión de su empresa, it's fine, pueden inventársela. The idea yeah. is to make it light, super short. Y luego escogen la mejor. En okay. mi caso, la visión de mi enterprise es: our vision is to become a better option to provide quality capacitors to around of world. Wow, that sounds super complete to me. So to become the best uh, quality capacitors, you said? Yes. What do you mean by quality capacitors? What does your company do? Uh, I work in ABX. Mm, what, what, do your what does your company do? Uh, make uh, capacitors through uh, to electronic. Oh, uh, okay. Device. Okay. okay. I when you said capacitors, I immediately thought thought trainers maybe. <laughs> so you mean the capacitor, like the tool? Okay, got it. Yes. Never mind. Okay, that's all right. So guys, what about you, Rene? What is your mission? What's the mission of your company? <laughs> We are to to become a, the most important uh, insurance service. In El Salvador or in Central uh, company America. Insurance. Company insurance. Insurance company. And this uh, insurance company in the Central America. In Central America. Yes. Do you have presence in, in Central America? Yes, because the company have a different uh, branches. Uh, sí. Branches, como sucursales. Yes, yeah, branches. For example, Mexico, Guatemala. Okay, uh, so Ecuador. branches. Mm -hmm. Ah, wow. Pensé que solo el Salvador. Yeah, they are branches. Okay. Okay, interesting. So, guys, share the rest of yours. Que yo lo que yo escribí. Porque no me acuerdo de la de la empresa. Uh, ok. Este, la mía sería We went in English as a second language. ¿Cómo? Be fluent in, in English as second language. Ah, ok. Es más que todo como que la misión del curso. Sí. Me acuerdo la de la empresa. 
Sí. <coughs> eh, yo hice uno porque tiene esa noche. Ok. Entonces sería Our vision is to provide excellent service to customers and satisfy with their product. product. This is the one. Provide. Provide. Okay, mission is provide excellent service. Find. Find. Find is verified. My, my mission is to give care to pets to generate a healthy life for them. No sé si es así, them. Can you can you repeat that please? Hi. <laughs> can you repeat that? That one? Uh, our mission is to give care to pets to gen to generate a healthy life for them. Lo que quise decir es eh, generar o proporcionar. Uh, the mission is to provide care. Pet care and generate and generate probablemente podríamos utilizar la palabra provide so that sounds better for a mission and provide a better uh, life quality mm -hmm. provide a better and provide a better life quality so suena como un poco más generalizado mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí. Or provide a better lifetime. So, ambas creo que they could work. Mm -hmm. Sí, entonces, uh, our mission is provide a better life quality yeah. through the care, the pet care. Okay, me quedo con eso. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, that could work. So it, it could be like um, to provide a better life quality. Uh -huh. lo, lo primero que se había dicho is fine, to provide better care. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. My mission, teacher, is the word provide, provide only 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 word or um fine parece que escribió que no sé qué significa find find oh, no no mis lo que sucede es que <ríe> estaba escuchando algunos grupos entonces por acá tomé notas de algunas palabras que escuché pero no necesariamente para ah. usted <ríe> no sorry ah, for about yeah. the confusion yeah so, <ríe> Por ahí escuché la palabra fine, so I just got it in la palabra provide. Pero I think your mission is quite fine. I think it's good. Uh, so si terminamos, if you already finished, let's go back, okay? Because eh, vamos.
Okay, everybody, so thanks a lot for coming back. Okay, so I heard that most of us were working with the mission. So at the moment, no tiene que ser like perfect. It, it doesn't have to be like super, super eh, good. No, no estamos haciendo una, una precisamente eh, una mission or vision que va a ser de su empresa, right? So it's pretty much the idea general. All right. Uh, so tell me, uh, who would like to share the mission you have or the vision you got? Si no se la saben, it's totally fine. Se la pueden inventar and you're good with that. Ingrid, thank you very much for volunteering. <laughs> I see you activated your microphone, so I believe you are ready for it. So please go ahead. Hello. Hi, Miss. Hello. Me gusta chichar. Fíjese que sí, pero de repente sentí que se me estaba breaking. Ah, Usted yeah. me escucha, can you hear you. me? Creo que tenemos lag in Ingrid. Creo que Hola, tenemos, tenemos un poco de retraso en el audio. Solo veo que... Hmm. No, yo solo veo que me que, que habla, pero no, o sea, no. Ok. Um, me escucha. Sí, ya le escribo, permítame. Ok, so mientras solucionamos el issue que tenemos con Ingrid. Um, volunteers. So I can have volunteers or I can have some victims. Cualquiera de las dos le funciona. So who would like to volunteer? Nosotros. Okay. Perfect. Please go ahead, Brian. Uh, our vision, uh, be leader of innovation, and um, this is uh, provide quality service. Um, the mission or company provides quality and integrity service with clients. That's it. All right, thank you. So that is your mission for Marvin, for Rene, and for yourself. Uh, no, no, ese es no. lo inventamos en sí con, con lo que usamos. Uh -huh. Como ser una, una empresa de publicidad, más o menos, pensábamos. Ah, okay. como, so como... you created another one. Okay, that sounds very interesting. I, I like it, thank you, that's okay. Uh, guys, anybody else? What about your companies? ¿Cuál es la mission or the vision of your company? Se la pueden inventar. That's totally fine. O puede ser la real. It can be the real one. Any other volunteer? Danny, let me listen to you, Danny. Estaba con Brian. Were you with Brian? No, right? Danny, 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 oh, Danny. No, you, Anthony. <laughs> yeah, sir. Yeah, uh, you're right. That's Anthony. You're right. Okay. Uh, our, mi our mission is to provide information necessary to uh, our clients uh, in moment opportune. No sé cómo decir en el momento oportuno. Uh, at the right time. Right, at the right, right time, time. Mm -hmm. yeah no, no lo, uh, no lo okay. traducimos tal cual sino we find yeah. other words at the right time yeah. okay uh, okay, yeah. okay that sounds good thank you thank you daisy what do you have what's your mission or vision uh, Oh, okay, so you created one. That's totally fine. Give me one second. Let me take a look. Who is missing? Um, yes. Yes, uh, Anthony, tell me. Teacher. Usted le dijo a Daisy que era, le dio el premio por la muy relajada, pero hoy se va a dormir, teacher. <laughs> no, she's not. Are you, are you laying in your bed? Ya está recostada, Daisy. Wow. <laughs> okay, I saw MBU. <laughs> that sounds good. Okay. Uh, 
Jasmine, Hi. please help us, Jasmine. What do you have? Jasmine crearon uno. Do you have one? Oh, thank you. Thank you, Norberto. Go ahead, please. Okay. Uh, the mission of my company is um, uh, promote the integral development of our uh, association mm -hmm. uh, with social responsibility. Oh, very oh. good. Okay, that sounds mm. nice. So you have social responsibility as well. Wow. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. So we are going to check this uh, later as well. Okay. In the meantime, les quiero robar un par de minutitos because I think this part is very important. Um, este módulo nos requiere un poquito más de, de you know, eh, commitment, un poco más de compromiso, porque revisamos un tema bien importante. En crucial topic, lo cual es el simple past. Ok. Toda la vida utilizamos simple past, pero cuando hablamos es uno de los temas que es un poco más complicados, ok, to use. So, lo que vamos a hacer es lo siguiente. Para hablar en simple past, necesitamos memorizarnos verbos, Necesita, porque es como el corazón de simple past. Vamos a tener que aprender el verbo y vamos a tener que aprender la forma correcta del verbo en pasado, ok. Uh, so, como un niño, right, como like little babies cuando empiezan a hablar y dicen, eh, yo, com, yo como ayer. Okay. So, vamos a tener que hacer ese cambio. Eh, yo comí. So, al finalizar la clase, eh, le voy a robar siempre unos cinco minutitos, you know, para que veamos verbos nuevos. So, se los voy a presentar today. Y para mañana, ya les voy a pedir el enorme compromiso que se los aprendan, you know, que se los memoricen. De lo contrario, cuando vengamos a, eh, a la parte de Simple Pass, para que no caigamos con 60, 100 verbos juntos, you know, si no lo hagamos progresivamente. So every single day vamos a hacer lo mismo. Cinco verbos al finalizar la clase, nos los aprendemos y mañana vamos con cinco verbos más y cinco verbos más, you know. Pero cuando lleguemos a este tema, no sea everything together, sino que ya los tengamos súper frescos and uh, va a ser la transición súper fácil. So I want to show you what I have prepared for you y serían los verbos del día de mañana. Son verbos que you know them, ok, but vamos a aprendernos el presente y el pasado. Le pueden tomar captura, ok, o lo pueden guardar en ustedes van haciendo su propia listita, whatever you decide. Vamos a ver ahora eh, la pronunciación, ok, y el uso de una sola vez para que nos vayamos acostumbrando. So, el primero es make, eh, y el pasado es made. El segundo es eat, ate, read, read. Es el mismo verbo, pero cambia pronunciación. Write, wrote, buy, bought, find, found. ¿Ya? Eh, question number one. ¿Identifiquen el significado de todos los verbos? Do you identify the meaning of them? ¿Hay alguno que no, se, no conozcan? ¿Conocen Mis, todos estos verbos? El primero es preparar, ¿verdad? Mm, ya, yeah, como hacer, hacer, preparar. Hacer, hacer. Ok, ya. Yeah. El último, find. Find es encontrar. Cuando usted está buscando algo, ¡ay, lo encontré! Ok, so that's find. So, encontrar algo. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. ok, now everybody, please, repeat with me. Make, made. Made. Make, made. Eat, ate. Read, read. Read, read. Like the color. Read. Read, read. Read, read. Write, wrote. Write, wrote. Buy, bought. Buy, bought. Fine, found. Ok, very good. Now, ¿cómo los utilizamos? The use actually es bastante fácil. Ok, for example, I would make, all right, I can say I make 
my breakfast. Okay, every day. Yeah, I make my breakfast every day. Entonces, lo único que vamos a cambiar es, en vez de make, para hablar de ayer, yo le cambio a made. Y como ya no es todos los días, sino que es ayer, voy a utilizar la palabra yesterday. Ok? Yes, so, I made my breakfast yesterday. Y eso es todo. All right? Yeah. So, cambio el make a made. Now, eat se convierte en ate. For example, I eat uh, pupusas on Monday. All right? Si todos los lunes lo hago. Pero como lo hice ayer, para hablar de yo comí, Cambio it y lo hago ate. I ate pupusas on Monday. So what does it mean? Yo comí. Ok, so I ate pupusas on Monday. I get read, leer. En vez de decir yo leo, I read, yo voy a decir yo leí. I read, el, no I cambia read. cómo se escribe, pero sí cambia la pronunciación. Ok, read, read. I read my favorite book. Last weekend, okay, last weekend, el fin de semana pasado. So I read my favorite book um, on Sunday. I'm going to... Hello, miss. Me, me escucha? Yes, no, ahora sí. Yes. Oh. yes, no, pero sí lo escucho, eh, I can hear you. Me, eh, ok, eh, o sea que la primera palabra es el tiempo presente y la segunda palabra es el tiempo pasado. Yes. Exactly Ay, like disculpa that. la pregunta, pero es que como no estoy escuchando bien. Oh, no, no worries. No, 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 that's a good question. Yes. Entonces lo que vamos a hacer es aprendernos los verbos de forma progresiva, you know, para que no sea un golpe bien duro y no quiero que se aprendan 100 verbos, 50 verbos en un día, porque no es productivo. So, um, lo, 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 lo se usa igual, you know, we use it exactly the same way. So, si yo digo, yo escribo un libro, I read a book, pero quiero decir, yo escribí, ¿ok? Entonces solamente hago el cambio de write a the road, que sería el, el segundo verbo, and so forth, ¿ok? So, Gar, yes. No, todavía no. Ajá, todavía no. So, esto es pasado. Vamos a hablar de ayer, la semana pasada, el año pasado, actividades que ya están over. Sí vamos a ver futuro en ese módulo, pero todavía no, ¿ok? No lo vamos a mezclar yet. So, eh, antes de irnos, I will really appreciate si me ayudan con un ejemplo por cada uno de estos verbos en pasado. All right. So, de la misma forma como me, lo cambiamos a me hice. Yes, Jocelyn. And for example, I ate pupusa on Monday. Mm -hmm. The connection is, eh, siempre es el mismo, on Monday. Uh, yeah. o por ser, digamos, ayer, eh, por ejemplo, o, o, o el vino pasado no sería last Monday. Actually, yeah, it's really valid. Hay muchas formas de decirlo, right? Si le digo, I ate pupusas on Monday, oh, inmediatamente es como, ah, oh, ok, ayer. So, I ate pupusas yesterday, es como, ah, oh, vaya. O sea, es like, hay muchas formas de decirlo, pero la idea es que al final se entienda que estamos refiriéndonos a ese momento. So, yes, you can say last Monday. Como, mi pregunta es como, digamos, diciendo. ¿Cómo se entiende? Si le decimos en presente. Ajá, digamos, yo como, yo como pupusa los lunes, vea, en uh -huh. presente, por ejemplo. Pero si estamos hablando de pasado, yo comí pupusa el lunes. Entonces, siempre lo voy a poner como on, solo por el hecho uh -huh. que estamos hablando de un día. Sí. El contexto no cambia. Uh -huh. No, el, el uso del on para días no va a cambiar. Lo que sí cambia es la idea, ¿verdad? Okay. Cuando usted ya hace el cambio de it a eight, ya entiendo que no es de ahorita. Está hablando ya de pasado, you know? Solo con el cambio que usted hace. Es como cuando usted dice yo comí. Solo al escuchar el comí, ya sé que está hablando de cualquier día en el pasado. Ayer, la semana anterior, el año anterior. Uh -huh. Eso es lo que hace el verbo. So I ate. Thank you, teacher. Gracias. You're welcome. And verbs this way are super easy porque no es como español que tenemos yo comí, él comió, ella comió. You know? Nosotros comimos. We don't have that. In English, cuando se hace este cambio, ya estuvo todo. You know? I, you, she, he, todos ellos se van con el mismo verbo. 
So guys, tienen like three minutes. Tienen como tres minutitos, all right, para que puedan escribir one example. Please ask questions. Si tienen dudas, if you, are, if you didn't get it, let me know y lo revisamos nuevamente. We can take a look at, at it one more time. So it's fine. Pero solo usando las, las palabras del tiempo pasado, teacher. Mm, sí, miss. Um, here, lo más adecuado es que le pongamos una palabra que indique en qué momento pasó, you know, para estar seguros. For example, I made my breakfast yesterday. Yeah. O como nos decía eh, Jocelyn, podemos agregarle last. I read my favorite book last Monday. Y ya entiendo que es el último. Last Monday, last Tuesday, last weekend, el fin de semana anterior. Mm -hmm. So this is it. Me sirve bastante tenerlo con la, con la cámara apagada, el teacher. ¿Verdad que ya le mejoró? Sí, 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 porque me escuchaba, o sea, todo tartamudo escuchaba. Sí, le escuchaba un poco cortada, but now I can hear you better. Lo que sucede es que la cámara es banda ancha, so consume mucho más internet, but eh, that's why. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm glad it is solved. Ok, guys, so I would like to listen to some examples, si ya tienen algunos, if you wrote a couple of them. Lo que sí les voy a solicitar for tomorrow es que estos seis verbos that we have here nos los memoricemos, please, okay? So, solamente es like make, made, eat, ate, read, read, write, wrote, buy, bought, and find, found, okay? And that would be it. So, any example with make? ¿Alguien tiene algún ejemplo con make? Hi, teacher. Okay, please help me. What do you have? I I made the report of the production yesterday. Oh, very good. I made the report. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Yeah. What about eat? Who can give me an example with eat? Eat, guys. Eat lo que vemos a eight, right? I I ate, I ate pizza yesterday. I, I, I ate pizza. Night. Very good. Okay. Okay. What about I ate seafood? I ate seafood. Excellent. Uh -huh. What about rev? Read rev. Who has an example with rev? Uh, my sis. Yes. My sis read is a soap opera. My sister read. Sería como una novel, ¿verdad? Como un libro. My sister read a novel. Yes. Okay. She read a novel. Okay. Uh, What about... Sí, su pupera es como en la tele. Yeah. It's the same, oh, pero en la tele. Yes. What about fine? Fine oh. and found. I found... I found my kiss. I found my keys. Very good. Exactly. It's like, oh, I got them. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. So, guys, I read a letter yesterday. Thank you, Pedrina. That's a very good example as well. So, please, para mañana, memorizémonos these verbs. Okay. Mañana les doy cinco más and so forth. All right. Antes de irnos, les voy a pedir me ayuden con su camarita. Just like one minute. I gotta go over attendance and... Uh, y me soliciten una foto, like, day number one, you know, and everybody being here. Eh, tenemos sesiones one on one, como lo hicimos desde el módulo número uno. Comenzamos el día de ahora y vamos a tenerlas 10 minutos después de la clase. So, eh, el día de ahora le corresponde a Ana Delmi. So, Ana, lo siento, le voy a robar 10 minutitos más. <laughs> I will have 10 minutes eh, more with you, okay, by the end of the class. So, guys, me ayudan con la cámara, please. Ángel, me ayuda con su cámara. Norbert, no lo veo. I don't see you. Pero no sé si es por el inter. Porque sí veo que la, la tiene encendida, but I cannot see you. Okay, uh, that's all right. Yeah, so... Sí, porque no le... Um, ok, dale clic en, en detener vídeo e intente otra vez. Probablemente el internet no le está cargando. Porque sí la veo encendida, pero no lo veo. I don't see you. Sí, yo Como creo yo que es el internet. Ah, ok. Ok, anyways. 
So let me, and Brian, Brian is going, Brian. There you go. Okay. So guys, say cheese. Let me take a picture of you. So that's one, two, and three. Eyes. Uh, okay. Deme un segundito. Give me just a second. Sorry. Let me take it one more time. Okay. So one, two, three. Isaac. Thanks, everybody. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. And no se les olvide los verbos, please. And Ana me regala unos minutitos. Bye, everybody. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. See you, See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. <sighs> Okay, hi, tell me, deme un segundito, give me just a second. Solo voy a, a sacar a los demás. Okay. <laughs> okay, I had to take them out. <laughs> Tengo que sacarlo porque es one on one. Okay, miss, gracias por quedarse okay. unos minutitos más. Eh, solo se los voy a robar like super quick. Creo que la tenemos bastante, you know, temprano, like, let's say, in the module. But, pero bueno, you know, this is like our opportunity. Siento que he mejorado bastante del mes. Así que I'm super happy, super excited que esté con nosotros, you know. Eh, y, que, y que yo continue having this motivation, que esté siempre bien motivada. And um, sí, siento que he mejorado muchísimo eh, la parte de speaking, la siento con un poco más de confianza. And, and I'm happy about it. I'm happy about it. ¿Cómo se siente? How do you feel? Um, con, más, con más confianza para expresarme. Uh -huh. Como que se me va quitando ese temor de, de hablar. Ok. I'm glad. ¿Con vocabulario cómo se siente? Eso siento que sí me hace falta, teacher. Porque siento que me quedo corta para seguir expresándome. Uh -huh. Y siento que con más vocabulario podría ir llenando como para, para seguir como continuo, ¿verdad? Con continuidad. Entonces, cuando ya no hay con qué palabra amarrar lo que estoy diciendo, ya me quedo hasta ahí. Uh -huh. Entonces, siento que vocabulario me hace falta. ¿Con listening cómo se siente? Uh, lo entiendo más. Siento que lo entiendo ah, más. Ay, ok. Uh -huh. Y de hecho, ahora hablé rápido. <risa> Okay, but I'm glad. No, you know, I'm super glad. I'm super glad porque de hecho, oh, y pues al sí. hablar en, en ya en, en una velocidad normal, eh, uh -huh. y, y si usted me sigue, es super bueno, you know, and that's super, super good. Okay, con vocabulary. Con, ¿Alguna vez ha preguntado cómo aprende? ¿Alguna vez ha visto eh, de qué manera usted aprende más? Si sí, escuchando, si haciendo planas, viendo dibujos. No, no, eso sí, no. Ok. So, cu cuando tienes, por ejemplo, que estudiar de un tema, ¿cómo se le queda más? Escribiendo. Escribiendo. ¿Y cuando tiene ah. presentaciones? Eh, hablando, practicando. Ok. Practicing. Ok. Hagamos una cosa, permítame un segundito. Uh -huh. Sorry, I still have the cough. <laughs> no problem, teacher. Vaya, mis, vamos a hacer una actividad. En, the, en, en la medida que podamos, vamos a intentar hacerla como lo más apegada que podamos every single day, ¿ok? Um, como es la parte de speaking, y la parte de speaking nos da vocabulario, nos da listening and everything. Eh, le voy a pedir que todos los días me envíe un audio. Ok. So, envíeme un audio súper cortito. No tiene que ser de cinco minutos. Envíeme, puede ser like de 30 segundos, 
puede ser de un minuto, ok, contándome, por ejemplo, eh, no sé, your favorite place, contándome your favorite movie, your favorite soap opera, de tal manera que cuando usted tenga que hablar de ese tema, usted se encuentre como, ok, ¿y qué voy a decir? ¿Y qué, qué palabra necesito para hablar de ese tema? Entonces usted va, va a encontrarse y uno buscando palabras eh, in, the, in, the, um, in, tra, in the dictionary, in the translator, y eso nos va a dar, like, usted la escucha, usted la repite, right? Lo graba y me lo envía every single day, ¿ok? De esta manera usted, si necesita escribirla, lo escribe, le ayuda también en la parte de memorizar el vocabulario, right? Y lo dice. That is the most important part. So, ¿cree que podemos hacer eso? No, eh, no sería le va a robar tanto tiempo, no, I think. A su WhatsApp personal o sí, al es. grupo. No, envíemelo al mío, porque si no, los compañeros van a comenzar a preguntar, like, what's going on, ¿verdad? Ah, sí. eh, uh -huh. Ajá. So, send it to me, send it to my WhatsApp. Ajá. Uh -huh. Eh, ah, okay. e, e intentemos hacerlo como al menos durante la semana, right? El fin de semana. Okay, pues no. Ajá, so try okay. to, let's try to have it every single day. Por ejemplo, ahora puede ser, um, hablábamos de, I don't no, know, no, my no, hobby, no. for example. Okay, mm -hmm. so in my free time, no, I do this, no, 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 no. I don't like doing this. U usted también como no, no, no. mídase, right? Es la, como la oportunidad de medirnos y de decir, vaya, voy a intentar hablar 30 minutos de mí. Y lo bueno mm -hmm. que los audios nos dan la oportunidad de, uy, no me gustó cómo se oyó esto, lo, lo, pues lo elimino y lo vuelvo a hacer, you know? Y nos va a ayudar también con pronunciación. Si hay una palabra mm -hmm. que no está segura, va al diccionario, va al translator, le escucha. Y la repite, la repite hasta que la palabra le salga. So we can do it and, uh, y, y vamos viendo, you know. Y usted me va diciendo cómo va sintiendo. Si no, cambiamos o buscamos otra alternativa eh, para que trabajemos con vocabulario. So I think we can do it. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. ok, okay. Dicho, estoy de acuerdo. So, vaya, cuando usted tenga tiempito, me envía mañana, you no know, puede ser al mediodía, puede ser antes de la clase, you send it to me, la reviso y si hay algo que... que que cambiar, yo le doy también mi, mi opinión, right? Por si hay alguna okay. palabrita o algo de gramática que debamos de revisar y así you know, vamos incorporándolo every single day, ¿ok? Ah, ok, teacher, me parece. Right. Nice. So, Delmi, gracias por su tiempo. Entonces, le espero el día de mañana. <risa> sí, so, I yes, teacher. Tomorrow. Okay. Ahí so, se lo mando, teacher. Gracias, mis. Que descanse, enjoy it, and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, teacher. Bye-bye.